for achievement transcend human experience. They are absolute and superhuman. I claim this title as a right, as dictator for life and demigod. I will crush the rebellion in Spain. I will secure our borders in Syria and Africa and encircle the Mediterranean in a ring of iron. Then, my countrymen, we will turn the might of Rome to the east for the conquest of our greatest enemy and for our greatest prize. What did I say? Parthia, the glory of Rome, will shine brighter than the sun. Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar! 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 Dictator for life! A king. A king. Oh, Caesar. You need to shake yourself free of the pettiness of Roman thought. Claim more, not less. Make them honor you as a god. No wonder I love you so much. I'm going to claim my greatest prize. Parthia. Yes, but I'll need your help. We'll conquer it together, Cleopatra. You and I. Egypt and Rome <laughs> as allies, hand in hand. Do you dare to realize our great dream? I will always dare, Caesar. But first, you must divorce Calpurnia, marry me, and proclaim Caesarian your heir. I can't do that. It would finish Rome. Well, then finish it. Create something new, something greater! No. Caesar is Rome. My ambitions are boundless, Cleopatra, but they are Roman ambitions. Then our dream is a lie. I should go back to Egypt, where I am a queen and a goddess in my own right, and not merely your consort. No, I forbid it. You must stay with me. You forbid it? Are you giving me orders? I didn't mean it like that. I meant it would be to our mutual benefit. What benefit is it to me? To Egypt? If you succeed against Parthia, I will still be Caesar's whore, and my son will still be his bastard. If you fail, I will have the wrath of Parthia upon my people. Caesar will not fail. Caesar! 
Caesar! Caesar, where are you going? Go home, Queen Cleopatra. Go home to Egypt! I will conquer Parthia without you. Sacred space of Rome, a statue to his hall. It's preposterous. Such arrogance. A pity. He used to be strong. Now he's ruled by weakness and indecent pleasure. He has a son. He will betray you too, Octavius. He listens now only to Cleopatra. What is it you want from me? Stand with us against him. For the good of the Republic, Octavius. For Rome. I can never betray Caesar. But I won't stand against you. The gods seem troubled today. Caesar. Mark Antony Fulvia requests an immediate audience with you. Go on. Brutus, I cannot and will not support this petition. Fulvia is not home today. I'm sure you're mistaken. No, I'm not. Caesar! Do it! Uh, 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 uh. 